Ray drives this out towards deep left center. Upton looks up and watches it leave off the light tower in left center field. Order is perhaps being restored in the AL East. The Rays were swept in Toronto this weekend, falling to 1-5 in, in September. That has enabled the Red Sox to make up four games on the Rays, entering a three-game series just a game and a half back. And so, another sellout at Fenway Park. The 456th in a row, which establishes a new Major League record. So, the fans doing their parts, and the players stepping up too against Edwin Jackson, David Ortiz, off the monster in the first. Mark Kotze racing around. He'll score on the double. Ortiz hit Jackson well in his career. Six for 12, six RBIs following that at bat. Next up, Kevin Yokel is right back up the box. Ortiz going to come in and score from second base. Yokelis rung up between first and second. See, you putting everything into getting, trying to get back to first. Not enough, though. And it's 2 0 Boston. Then Jason Bay over the wall. Touch them all. Sixth as a Red Sox for Jason Bay as he continues to produce. 3 0 Red Sox. John Lester, 8 0 in his last 13 at Fenway. And a three run first inning helping him out. And goes out in the second, puts down Rocco Baldelli. The honor Navarro as well. They throw him out at first base. In the third inning, a man on, but Fernando Perez, broken bat, double play, 5 4 3. Dustin Pedroia had the nice turn over there at second. And then we move to the seventh. Lester still rolling. Willie Ibar can't touch this. Jason Bartlett looking at one. Nine strikeouts and all for Lester. Jackson settled in after that first inning. Now in the bottom of the seventh. High heat gets Jason Baratek. Jackson, seven plus innings. Six strikeouts. Only those three first inning runs. Lester, though, running into trouble in the eighth. Carlos Pena ground rule double. Ben Zobers who banged off the top of the monsters to pull up at third. And that would be all for Lester. After seven and two thirds, he's out. And in comes Jonathan Papelbon, the big spot facing Rocco Baldelli. Papelbon gets his man, 97 mile per hour heat. Baldelli, a long night at the plate. 0 for 4, 4 strikeouts. And the Red Sox shut out the Rays 3 zip. A 4 out save for Papelbon is 36, but the big winner here, John Lester. 7 and 2 thirds of 6 hit. No run baseball. Lester 14 and 5 overall this season and 9 and 0 oh at Fenway in his last 14 starts. So with the win, the Sox pulled within half the game of the Rays. It's the closest they've been since July 23rd. Coco Crisp, a nice down at the plate as well. He was 3-for-3, three three, his sixth straight multi-hit game. With much more from Fenway Park, we go now to Ed Randall. Playing in front of a record 456 consecutive home sellout, the Boston Red Sox defeated Tampa Bay 3 to nothing. With the victory, the Red Sox closed to within a half game of the Rays, the closest they've been to first place since July 28th. Kind of let us know that if we get hot at the right time, uh, you never know. You know, you never know. You can gain three, four games in a matter of a week. But I think we need to focus on that we're just playing really good baseball right now. I mean, John Lester, he's been he's been a horse for us all year. You know, and he gave us a big start again. We swung the bats good enough. You know, I think Edwin Jackson, take away that first inning, was dominating. He really had good stuff. So, But uh, those are things you got to do. When you don't score a lot of runs, you got to pitch well. So uh, I tip my hat to Johnny. He did, a, he did a great job. We just want to keep playing winning baseball. I and mean, wherever that puts us, it puts us in the playoffs. Uh, that's great. I mean, obviously... You know, your goal is, is to go first place, but I don't think that it's number one. Uh, it's not, not the biggest onus right now to do that. I mean, I, you go out there, um, try to win a series, which is what we've been trying to do, and, and if you get a chance to sweep, do that. But um, anytime you try to have to do anything in baseball, it makes it tougher. We feel good about the way we're playing. You know, I think we had a nice series in Texas. We ended the series uh, against Baltimore at home, last, last homestand in a good way. So we feel like I think we're getting a complete contribution. You know what you got? Coco, who's on fire at the bottom of the, of the lineup, Tech's hitting a lot better. And then I think one through, you know, seven have been pretty consistent. So we've got a lot of guys that, you know, we're not giving away outs, and I think that can put a lot of pressure on the other team. Over just the last eight days, the Boston Red Sox have cut five games off the Tampa Bay Rays lead. They can move into first place on Tuesday night if Dice K defeats Scott Casimir. At Fenway Park in Boston, I'm Ed Randall, MLB.com.